Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do Yourself. Today I want to go over one of my favorite tools and what I'll be doing is testing these today. Uh, these are going to be 3 8 electric ratchets and I use this a lot at work so I really want to uh, test a couple of these out and just see which one might be best or if one is better than the other. So what I use the most or what I use right now is the Milwaukee brand and these are all brush motored and they are 12 volt batteries uh, this one's a 2 amp hour the second one I want to test out will be the Hercules or the Harbor Freight brand and again this is a 2 amp hour battery 12 volt system a lithium ion and the battery and the charger are separate when you buy that and same with the Milwaukee too now the third and fourth I got from Amazon, so I thought I'd try these out. Uh, this one seems really durable. It's the AC Delco brand. And this one is the Kymo or Chemo brand. So I wanted to test that one out. And again, this one's a 12 volt, two amp hour battery. And the AC Delco uh, two amp hour, 12 volt battery. I just want to go over some specs real quick before we get into testing these. Uh, we'll start with the AC Delco. It's the ARW1209 model. Uh, the max RPM is 170 per minute. The weight of the battery, the weight with the battery, uh, 2 pounds, 12.2 ounces. Uh, MSRP on this is 69.95. The max torque, it's rated at 45 foot-pounds. There's no paddle lock. Uh, the battery remainder light, there's none on here. Uh, temp rating for the battery, it says 105 Fahrenheit. Uh, it's not waterproof, doesn't have a variable trigger speed. Uh, I did a Lux testing on the light uh, for about six inches away, or at about six inches away, and I got 224. Uh, max tightening by hand, it says 100 foot-pounds. Okay, and then next, uh, a little bit of information about the Kymo or the Chemo. Uh, max RPM, it says 400 RPM. Uh, the weight with the battery, 2 pounds, 1.5 ounces. MSRP, 59.49. Max torque, 40 foot-pounds. Paddle lock, it has a foot of paddle lock. Uh, it does have a battery remainder light right there on the side and there's your paddle lock right there so that's nice so that it, when you're if you're traveling it won't turn on on you when it hits something uh, temp rating for the battery says 122 Fahrenheit it's not waterproof uh, not a variable trigger speed uh, the light was tested at 517 lux and it doesn't show what the max tightening by hand was. It didn't have a rating for that. Now, a little bit of stats about the Milwaukee. Uh, the max RPM is uh, 250 RPM. Uh, the weight with the battery, one pound, 15.3 ounces. So the lightest of the four. Uh, the tool only, MSRP, $149. Uh, there is a combo 179 charger battery and tool and you can also get the brushless for $179 that's just the tool only now the max torque on this it shows the lowest at 35 foot-pounds there is a paddle lock battery remainder light yes uh, it's not waterproof variable trigger speed yes the light was tested at 675 lux and it doesn't say what the max tightening by hand is. So a little information about the Hercules. This is the HD033B and it shows the max RPM at 275 per minute. The weight with the battery is 2 pounds 5.1 ounces. The tool MSRP is $89.99 uh, $35 for the charger $25 for the battery or you could find a uh, combo kit charger and battery for a little bit less than that the max torque is 40 foot-pounds there is no paddle lock it does have a battery remainder light 
Uh, the temp rating is showing at 265 Fahrenheit for the battery. Uh, it is not waterproof, so your battery remainder light is right there. It does have variable trigger speed, and the light was tested at the highest, uh, 899 lux. It doesn't tell you a max tightening by hand, but in the actual Hercules manual, it says under battery use, uh, under abusive conditions, the liquid may be ejected from the battery and to avoid contact. So make sure you watch out for that. Now the first thing I want to check on each one of these is the max RPM. So we'll start with the Milwaukee. So we're getting about 261 RPM. So that was better than what it was rated at. It's rated at 250. So we'll go with the Hercules and see what this one can do. This one showed about 289. So now we'll go with the AC Delco. And with the AC Delco, we're getting about 180, and it was rated at 170. Now we'll do the chemo or the chymo. We're getting about 196 for that one. And let's try that again because it's rated at 400. So. Yeah, that was pretty consistent at about 200. Now this next test is just to see which ratchet can move these nuts down to the base or the bottom the fastest. So we'll go with the Milwaukee and the Hercules and we'll see which one can move this down the fastest we'll start at 10 seconds and the Hercules one is about six seven seconds right in there we'll do this one more time the Milwaukee and the Hercules. And that was about four and a half, five seconds for the Milwaukee. So tiebreaker for the Milwaukee and the Hercules. Ready, set, go. It's about five and a half seconds for the Milwaukee. So Milwaukee beat the Hercules two out of three. So this next test is just to see how quick it can tighten all these nuts. Okay, so we'll first start with the AC fill up hook. So for the AC Delco, got a time of 348, and that is just to put the nuts down all the way to the bolts, the end of the bolts. Now to test the chemo, or the chemo, to see how long it takes to put the nuts down to the bottom of the other nuts.
Next, we'll test the Milwaukee. Got all the three inch light screws set up. See if we can put these in the fastest. Well, it doesn't have enough torque to get them in as far as the AC Delco. But uh, it's a minute and 24 seconds. Now the next five are going to be with the Milwaukee. wasn't able to put them all the way down, but mostly. Now we'll check out the Hercules brand and see how fast it can put these lag screws down. fast time at a minute and six seconds. Now the total time between the bolt and the lag screw came up to five minutes and 33 seconds for the AC Delco, uh, four minutes and 51 seconds for the Kymo or the Chemo. Uh, the Milwaukee came up to three minutes and 35 seconds. And the Hercules was the fastest at three minutes and 29 seconds for all of the bolts and for five of the lag screws. Now this pretty much corresponds with the max RPM. So the Hercules had the max RPM of 289, the Milwaukee at 261, the Chemo at 200, and the AC Delco was at 180. The next thing I want to check is the decibels of the motor or the head while it's rotating. So 76 decibels for the AC Delco. Seventy six for the Kaimo. Seventy five for the Milwaukee. And 
and 75 for the Hercules. Now I want to see how much battery life is left. Now I've done all the tests to every single ratchet. 10.9 volts for the AC Delco. Now for the Kymo, for the Chemo. Got 11 volts left. Now for the Milwaukee. Oh, 10.8 volts. And 10.8 volts for the Hercules. Well, now it's time for my final thoughts on these ratchets. Now for all these ratchets, uh, noise level isn't an issue when all of them are about the same. Uh, Milwaukee is the lightest at one pound 15 ounces, but it costs the most out of the four. Now the Milwaukee and the Hercules had the brightest lights, uh, the best max RPM, and the quickest times on the bolt and lag screw tests. Now the AC Delco, uh, it got the hottest at 125 Fahrenheit after some testing and the handle felt really warm after it and also it's the heaviest at two pounds twelve ounces and it just seems like when the head is rotating it just doesn't seem as smooth as the other three now the chemo and the hercules now these two had minimal grease coming from the rotating head but as long as this occurs only during you know, brutal testing it shouldn't affect the longevity of the tool. But if it continues to happen, you know, it could be an issue. The way I would rank them uh, from one to four, I would rank Milwaukee at the top just because, you know, overall it seemed like it was the best performer. Number two, I would give to Hercules. Uh, number three, I would give to the Chemo or Chimo. And then AC Delco would be four or fourth. So I hope this has been helpful. This has been Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Good luck on your next Homer Automotive project. Thanks for watching. And feel free to share, like, subscribe, and comment.